guys have been looking and prepping for playoffs so far, what is the biggest challenge that the Knicks present? Um, I mean, they're a good team. They've been playing really good basketball uh, this year. From the start five into the bench crew, they have a, 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 a de some depth, you know, with uh, Grimes, Quickly, Toppin. Um, those guys put up some big numbers, even though the rest of the guys are capable of scoring and shooting the ball well. Of course, you got Jalen, RJ, and, and Julius. You know, those are all star caliber players that, that can score in bunches. Um, so they have a lot of threats and some depth. So, you know, but you know, we have home court, so we fought for it. You know, our fans will be behind us to help us a lot. Um, you know, we, we got some uh, some guys here that are looking to you know prove prove themselves. So you know, we got a couple guys with a chip on their shoulder. Some guys first time playoffs, but I, I believe we are a very disciplined uh, team that we if we do what we're supposed to do, we play our game. Um, that there's not anybody we can beat. And obviously, you have um, that playoff experience. What can home court advantage do for you guys, especially for this guy that had an experience in playoffs before? Well, statistically, I think it's like plus four or something like that. Yeah. But you know, when you're in your own building, your home building, that gives you a little more uh, adrenaline, a little more excitement to be able to make you know shots or make extra plays, uh, especially um, when you know games a game of runs. Basketball is a game of runs, especially in this league. So when that team goes on a, a run. If you're on the road, it's a lot harder to get out of that run. At home, it's a lot easier to turn around. It's a lot easier to just get back into a game. Um, it's a lot tougher on the road. So, you know, we feel that they earned it. They can earn their rest days. They got home court advantage. So, hopefully, we take advantage of it and, and take, protect home, like they've been doing all year. We've been doing all year. Uh, playing that defense that we've been playing all year as number one defense for most of the year. And uh, giving ourselves a chance to on the road. The championship team's got to win the road. So, we got to, you know, go in there, build and get one. What's the most important piece of knowledge you think you can hand down to these guys as they first go through the postseason? Just embrace the moment. You know, don't think too much into it. Have fun, play basketball. At the end of the day, it is a basketball game. And guys play the best basketball when they're having fun. Um, but every possession matters. You know, everybody's going to continue to say it over and over. You'll see that, you know, every any play can determine or change a series or change a game. And every game, every possession matters. Um, so. Can't go in like stay school, can't go in missing assignments. You, know, you gotta be locked in, know your matchups, know your personnel, know who you're guarding, know how we wanna execute our, our principles. And um, go out there and play and have fun. You know, be scared of the moment. Um, you know, shoot the ball when you're open and knock down shots like they've been doing all year. Danny, what have you seen from this group that lets you know you guys are ready for what's ahead? Just the leaders of this team with Don and, and Ricky. Um, where Ricky sets the table and gets guys to play the right way, Don leading them, being a superstar, humble superstar. That's, uh, not selfish, making the right play. Uh, you know, kind of taking Darius and Evan and J.A. under his wing a little bit. I mean, they're younger, but J.A. has got some experience with Vert. Um, just in his game, coming off the bench, not just being just a scorer, but a playmaker. Um, you know, I, I like what they have, the chemistry they have together, and just the focus, you know, and how, how much they really want it. So that, that gives me a lot of faith and a lot of confidence that, you know, we can execute down the stretch or, or do what needs to be done when the time is, you know, when it's necessary. I mean, you've won three championships, so you know what it looks like. You know what it feels like. Does this group look like one that's capable of making that? It could. Of it could look like one. Um, you know, the whole thing is building momentum. You're not going to start out first game one, especially with a week off now, looking like a championship team. Uh, but you want each series prepared for the next series and get better as the series go along. You want to figure out your opponent before they figure you out and make the proper adjustments to beat them and hopefully do the same with the next opponent. Um, you know, anything can happen. I've seen years that the best team, the best team doesn't always win. Um, you have to have a lot of, not a lot, but a good amount of luck on your side with staying healthy and, you know, guys executing and having some role players step up. Of those title teams that you've been on, um, what are the most, uh, you know, I guess, uh, consistent habits that you've seen on those teams that define that? Just the defense of being on the string and talking, communicating, figuring it out. Uh, the right adjustments of, of making, it, making it difficult on a team. There's going to be stretches where you're going to have cold slumps and not shoot the ball well. Uh, those are the games you have to rely on your defense to, to keep you in the game and to give you a chance at the end. What's the key to this upcoming week, though? Because like you said, it is a week off from competitive games. Obviously staying in shape, staying healthy again, guys, you know, 100% healthy, uh, which is an advantage to us because we have some guys with some, some bumps and bruises, um, staying fresh. Um, but the biggest thing is it's like keeping guys in rhythm, you know, finding a way to, to, to practice but not do too much where it wears on them or nobody gets hurt. But with that being said, I think the coaches just know what they're doing. That's their, their job, and they're on top of it, and they've been doing it all year. Do you feel you've done enough to be in the rotation? Um, that's, that's a question for above me. Um, 
I think, you know, now with just the time that I have here, I, I think they're I've proven I'm comfortable to know the system enough. Um, I think they know that I'm capable uh, of giving what, I, uh, what we might need if necessary. But I said, there's a lot of guys in the playoffs, not a lot of minutes on the, on the game in the basketball court. And there's a lot of guys here that earned their minutes and, and been in rotation and used to rotation. And some, some adjustments may happen. You never know. But um, playing this league for the many years I've played in, I think people know what I'm capable of doing. And I think showing them that I know the offense and the system and that I'm still capable of being able to move. Uh, I haven't taken steps, that many steps back from where I was a year ago. Um, we'll hopefully put some confidence in, uh, in uh, the group and the coaching staff that you know, they can rely on when the time is necessary, when it's needed. A little bit, a little bit. And it's hard for it to help because I've only been here such a short time. If I would have started out here at the beginning of the season, go to you know, do preseason with the group, be around the city a little bit more. Um, but yeah, you know, driving around the city and having some familiarity with it, um, having a little deja vu or um, you know, just weird memories of where, when I was here. It's a lot different now than when it was, but you know, just having a little nostalgia of, of the time that I was here before, it kind of gives me a little bit of a full circle moment, but not, not the full on the way it should. Stress and hard work just to be helpful. Yes. Having this week off, 100%. Um, I think it probably helps them more than it helps us. I know they have more injuries than we do. Um, I know they're trying to get Julius back 100% healthy with that ankle, and I think that week definitely helps them. We definitely use them for all teams that are have clinched playoff positions. Um, deserve you know, a couple of days rest to get prepared and ready and have that advantage to help get their guys healthy. It's going to be a long one, so hang with me here. Okay. I've been trying to figure out like how to phrase it. You mentioned that there, there's nothing like playoff basketball. There's no way to replicate that in the regular season. And, and for some of these guys, they're about to face the playoffs for the first time in their career. <coughs> Is there something that you've noticed in the past with guys that will let you know how they're going to handle their first playoffs? Um, the big games throughout the season. Um, that's when the lights are brighter. See who steps up. Um, and your superstars are going to be superstars. Some of them, very few of them, shy away from the bright lights. Most of the time, they're going to raise their game and play great basketball. But the role players are going to be the ones that's going to win it for you. And to see which role players step up, which one of our guys can be X factors um, and give us a lift is going to be the key. More games than none against their their X Factor guys. Um, so it's at like the big games you can tell a little bit, but you won't be able to see it fully until you, until game one happens. Is there any question in your mind that Julius will play? No, I think so. They had some time off. He's had some time off. I think everybody's going to play. Everybody, and it's playoff. It's playoff time. There ain't no. Um, I'm taking a rest day or I'm sitting out. If you can go, which most guys can, fight through some injuries. I think you'll see. Most teams, 100% attendance, 100% of their roster, you know, fighting through or pushing through whatever injury they have, unless it's something that's very serious. Thank you guys.